Another adventure in Illinois law. Canceling my voter registration. Read by Shane Radliff, the author. Anyone who isn't the average American zombie is at least aware that voting in presidential elect elections is a joke. For those who are uniquely aware of this monopolistic entity known as government, they also recognize that voting in state elections is also a cruel joke. Especially if you're like me and you live in the communist state of Illinois. As far as lo local elections go, that's your choice, but I've chosen to remove my consent from the rigged system in its entirety. I have, as of late, been looking for ways to remove my consent in perfectly legal ways. One of these ways uh, was my recent purchase of silver. Being a 22-year-old college student, that is about all I can afford at this point, but nonetheless, it's, it's a good first step. In addition to that, I'm, I'm considering encrypting my LUA email as well as my instant messaging. One other development is a recent conversation I had with Kyle Reardon. He mentioned that he canceled his voter regist registration quite easily in Texas. That was an intriguing thought, and I saw no reason not to pursue that angle as well. The process was much easier than I expected. Kyle and I began by, Kyle and I began by going through all four branches of law for the state of Illinois. The Illinois Administrative Code, Section 216.50, stated that uh, one of the reasons they will cancel your voter registrations is at the request of the registrant which was applicable to my situation. When it came to the actual process of canceling voter registration, none of the four branches of law in Illinois addressed that. Instead, they referenced the United States Code, more specifically the National Voter Registration Act of 1993. Long story short, the United States Code lacked mentioning of canceling, except in the context of if someone was canceling it to re-register in another voting district. What all of the arms of Illinois law failed to mention was the process. What the referenced United States Code failed to mention was a process pertaining to anything other than that of a citizen who is moving to another county or state. Now, the first step I had in mind was either call or go to the government center in downtown Bloomington and just see if I'm even still registered, since I haven't voted since I was still a sheeple at age 18 or 19. Uh, can't remember the exact age, uh, but that detail is irrelevant. I decided to just head down to the government center uh, after I attended my classes that day. Throughout this process, I will say, everyone there was really kind and helpful. Part of that is probably because they assumed I was making sure I was registered so I could go vote today in the consolidated election, whatever that is, but nonetheless they were helpful. I told the government employee what I needed to find out if I'm still registered, and she went and looked it up and, and I was. She started to mention a couple of status things, like telling me how to vote, where to vote, what I need to bring, etc., etc. And I politely interrupted and said, ma'am, I would, I would like to cancel my voter registration altogether. And of course, she provided the exact status facial expression that I was expecting. I gave her a Liberty Under Attack business card and said, so what do I have to do to cancel it? To my surprise, she said, well, all you have to do is write a note with your request Include your birth date and sign it, and we'll send you something in the mail in a few weeks. So I won this battle, and luckily it was pretty simple. Granted, it's not going to make a significant difference, but it was certainly a personally satisfying action. And not only was the opportunity cost quite low, but now that I am a non-voter, I will enjoy lower opportunity costs than voters that have to care about electoral debates and voting on ballot measures. Hopefully my endeavors will encourage others to do the same thing. Withdraw consent from this corrupt, rigged system. Remember, the first step is to look through your various state laws and then go from there. Your results may vary.